Thank you and good evening. I'd like to start by accepting this award on behalf of my colleagues at Males, including our administrators, Cara D'Angelo and Tina Mara, on behalf of the Males founding principal, Jessica Jenkins, my students, office staff, and anyone else I bumped to you on the road to this moment. These past few weeks have been a whirlwind. I recently returned from Disney World, where 70 of my students competed at a Festival Disney Choral competition. You won second place. Last week, we sang with American Young Voices at the Prudential Center to an audience of almost 20,000 spectators. We performed our final band and chorus concerts, and last night I said goodbye to my eighth grade musical theater students in our final production of Grease. It's the same emotional, heart-wrenching ordeal every year, but I love what I do, and I would never change a thing. Life as a music teacher, while extremely rewarding, is tough. As people have congratulated me for this award, they often said to me, wow, I can't believe they gave it to a music teacher. <laughs> and through my gritted smile, I thought, the last time I checked, I went to college, studied the same things you did, and got a performance degree, but okay. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to have parents who let me explore everything, and this made me a perfect fit for an NYC Outward Bound school, where learning is all about the joy of exploring and doing so across disciplines. By the time I was eight, I was a softball-playing ballerina who strived to play the flute in Broadway pits and become an archaeologist. My sister would joke that I would go on digs and write songs every time I found a bone, and I never saw anything wrong with that. Before coming to Males, my musical career had been one where I never really felt like I belonged. Many schools wanted a music teacher, but no one wanted to pay a full salary, so my time was often split through many schools. At Males, not only was my program welcomed with open arms, but I was able to take my passion and combine it with core subjects. And I never knew that that was a possibility. So now I'm able to closely work with my colleagues, ensuring that reading and writing are instilled alongside music. Our music program is often central to learning expeditions, which are long-term explorations of a subject that happens across curriculum. I love that my students can not only recognize the music of Beethoven, but also speak and write about his life. I'm fortunate enough to have a beautiful music room, a state-of-the-art auditorium, and abundant in-school support, but the best part of my day is working with the hardest working students that anyone could ask for. What I strive for in my students isn't easy. I require true rigor from them, and that expectation goes across my general music classes, concert band, chorus, and the Marsh Avenue Players, our after-school music theater program. All of my students know there's little wiggle room, which raises the quality of their work. One of the most amazing feelings I get as a music educator and as a person is when I look at my students and I see their pride in what they've accomplished and the pride on their family members' faces. It reminds me of how my parents looked at me, and I love that I can reproduce that feeling with my students. It's why I became an educator, why I will always be one, and why I dedicate this award to my parents, especially my mom, who's retiring from teaching art in June. And she's probably crying. They say if you love your job, you'll never have to work a day in your life. And I can honestly say that since I started at Males five years ago, I haven't worked a day yet. So thank you all again, and please enjoy the rest of your night.